At Bedrosian, we aim to align the goals of academics and practitioners, to make clear what good government looks like, to work to foster effective governance and spread good ideas, and ultimately, to work to make sure that government implements good policy. My interaction with civics is directly tied to service. The difference between civics and activism, there is no difference. Engagement doesn't mean voting. Engagement means being involved in your community, being involved in what's important to you. Literacy basically comes down to what are we capable as citizens or stakeholders to make government work the way we want it to when it doesn't work. Government used to be very simple, but as our needs have grown, the, the, the agencies that service us have grown as well, and, and it's very difficult to wrap our heads around where do we begin to solve some of our problems. You as an individual um, are important. Your views, your current cares and considerations are important. We all live in a, in a community in a society, in a structure, and we have responsibilities to that structure and to that community that we should be aware of. The issues that we're, we're dealing with and the things we wrestle with are not random issues. They really arise in a structure that we have to think about. We have the contract to manage the elections for the public housing developments. There are four that the city owns and operates, of which there are 14. Nickerson is the largest public housing development this side of the Mississippi. These people are the ones that are most neglected in many ways outside of being homeless. Participating in those elections, getting people involved, required one thing and one thing only. We went door to door. You have to talk to people and it makes a difference. It's the relationship that you have with people that changes the way in which they engage civically. In Glendale, prior to 1999, um, the city was 40% Armenian, so roughly 70,000 residents. Only 700 voted in city's municipal elections. No translated materials were available to them. We were told it's too expensive, too time consuming. What we did uh, as community activists and organizers is translate the materials ourselves and went door to door, as Raquel said. And we went from 700 uh, people voting in elections to 5,000 in that election. I can point to 10 schools whose trajectory was changed because of the engagement in that process. Four of them became charter schools, six of them became district schools. I think the temptation is to say, yes, LA is, is so different. We have congruent challenges or similar challenges to any large and uh, truly diverse megalopolis. We have aggregation problems, right? So people know that if it's your school, then I should participate, because that's down the street. But if it's a transportation bond, or an affordable housing issue in Hollywood, right, it, is that something I should weigh in on? It's sort of the historic pathway to how we've defined our spaces that means that some issues that really should be collective issues aren't treated that way. Democratic values are not something that's inherited, it's something that needs to be taught. We have to change our entire educational approach to, to civics. We recognize it doesn't work. You don't just become a civic person. And so to me, getting out in front and actually creating various opportunities to provide the guidance and the instruction on how you do this well is really important without telling them what they should be doing it about. It would be hard for me with that awareness not to be doing things. All right, so if we can get everyone to that space, I think we, we wind up with a very literate uh, community and a community of individuals that will actually get up and do stuff. Implementing good policy, that's the way we move forward together and prosper. We're all in this together.